We're looking at another informal method for working out division problems. This is helpful not just for written but also for mental division problems. This is particularly useful when you start using bigger numbers. Your child might know their 4 times tables, up to 4 times 12, but they might not know how many 4s go into 64. Partitioning is really useful here. Using what you do know about the 4 times table, so we're going to start by looking at 64 and thinking what's the highest multiple of 4 I can think of that will go into 64. At this stage when you're doing these, a good tip is to look for multiples of 10. We can see that 4 times 10, which is 40, could be taken out of that 64. When we take that 40 from the 64, what do we have left? We have 24 left, which is also a multiple of 4. 40 and 24 are recognisable from your multiplication facts for the 4 times table. How many 4s in 40? Well, 40 divided by 4 is 10. And 24 divided by 4, that's 6. If we add the 10 and the 6 together, that tells us how many 4s there are in 64. Here's another one. If you're feeling confident, have a go at this, but we'll work through this one together for anyone who's not sure. 75 divided by 5. You might know up to 12 times 5, but you might not know how many 5s in 75. So we're going to use what we do know about the 5 times table to take a big chunk of something that's the multiple of 5 to start with. Good tip is to start with looking for multiples of 10. 5 lots of 10 are 50. If we take that 50 away from 75, we have 25 left. Now we have two multiples of 5 that are more recognisable, 50 and 25. How many 5s in 50? 50 divided by 5 is 10. How many 5s in 25? 25 divided by 5 is 5. We add the 10 and 5 together to get 15, and that tells us how many 5s there are in 75. Here's one more, and this is for you to try. 57 divided by 3. Pause the video, have a go. Using what we know about the 3 times table, we're going to take a big chunk of a multiple of 3 away from 57. We know that 10 lots of 3 is 30, so we can start by taking that away. When we take 30 away from 57, we have 27 left. Now both these are recognisable multiples of 3. 30 divided by 3 is 10 and 27 divided by 3 is 9. 10 and 9 is 19. 57 divided by 3 is 19. 